So I'm going to talk about something very near and dear to me, which is being sensitive. Because in sobriety, I now have the balls to admit that I am sensitive, a highly intuitive, if you want to call it, person. This is about the yogic principle of ahimsa, which means to do no harm. What people don't realize in early recovery is that your words can be harmful. For today's reading, it goes, Step 12 is, having had a spiritual awakening as a result of these steps, we tried to carry this message to alcoholics and to practice these principles in all our affairs. Note that the basis of our effectiveness in carrying the message to others is the reality of our own spiritual awakening. If we have not changed, we cannot be used to change others. Something as simple as a cuss word. I was uh, in treatment with this sweet old lady, grandmother, who was self-admittedly there to get off of pills, opioids. She not only was offended, but actually became afraid and got up and left a couple groups because some potty mouth mofos started dropping too many F-bombs. And it was so cute. In her share, she actually said that her mind went to the fear of the flashback. Is this person going to hit me? So, uh, I know we all want to express ourselves, sometimes passionately. But a very grown and sexy thing to do that doesn't require a whole lot is just omitting certain words, curse words, for example. But while I'm on the topic of ahimsa and yoga practices, another important thing is how we throw our tantrums and why we throw our tantrums. Uh, especially in a trauma-informed scenario, which would be any meeting, just remember, you're around a bunch of other people who don't know how to be an adult yet, and they're trying to get healed. So, leave yourself out of the equation. Just be considerate of that. Even in Zoom meetings, especially, you can definitely... Snipe or share someone in a Zoom meeting or say something hurtful just because it's over Zoom doesn't mean that they might not come back or they will get butt hurt and miss out on going back to that meeting because you had to let your little ego get in the way. And I'm not really sniper sharing anyone in particular. I've just seen this happen a bunch of times. So I'm trying to do harm reduction. And I also have been guilty of doing this uh, very much myself. So this is a mini fifth step in a way. Just don't be a dick. People are trying to heal. Peace and love.